sin.secure-call is a function that can be used to spoof the caller environment and context when calling a function. So I have this game set up where it has a custom chat. So you can observe that with a remote spy, every time I say something, it calls this remote. So if I get the calling script, it goes to player script, and I'm just going to show you the script in studio. And because you can't decompile my script, I have an anti-decompiler in it. And so network equals require again application storage modules network. And then whenever the local player chats, it sends network colon fire server chat message recipient. So what we are going to be doing from an exploiter POV, if we're trying to, you know, send some custom message in here, we're going to do exactly as was done in that script I just showed you. Except we're going to put our custom message in there. So we can get the uh, oops module by doing that. So we'll go module, just like how it was in the script, and then network equals module dot network. So that's how you get the network module. Now what we're going to do is network fire server chat hacked and then nil is the recipient because we're not sending this message to anyone we're just saying it globally and so if I execute that oh I forgot to do dot modules uh, yeah 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 I gotta do require module. Okay, that was my bad. So now if I execute this, uh oh, what happens? It says I'm an idiot and I'm an idiot. And then if I check the dev console, it says network dot underscore underscore index, you failed. That is because this game that I'm in, the game I have this test game, has a check that uses get found to get the environment of the function that is, you know, calling the network fire server and so we have to spoof that so one thing I will do before I start that is I'm going to get the player script because this is going to be useful for spoofing it so we'll scripts put the script in there and then what we're gonna do is we're going to note that out using control slash if you didn't know and then we're going to use send.secure call with the function we want to call so what function are we wanting to call to get fire server? Because you see here, if I print network dot fire server in the first place, it says that. So how do we get this? Well, if we print the type of network, you see that it is a user data, which probably means then that it has a meta table, which it does. That is how we index network.fire server. So we're going to get the meta table with get raw meta table and then network. I can spell it right. And then we're going to call network dot underscore underscore index. So now we have to pass through the script that we're going to be using to spoof the environment. I'm going to be using this script because that is a script that calls the um, the network fire server and um, yeah, you can see from studio and then we're going to put in any arguments so the arguments that we're going to want to put through here are network and fire server so this is the same as doing network dot fire server so I'm going to put that as a variable called fire server and then we're going to print the type of fire server. Boom. We got user data. That might be confusing. And that is because fire server has an underscore underscore call. So I can just I can do things like fire server. What happens if I do fire server like this? Instead of doing that, I'm actually just gonna put in um, the kind of uh, you know arguments that we want, just like these. If I execute that, boom, we failed again. But this time, it is through fire server dot underscore underscore call. You shouldn't take note that this 
is not going to be in every game that you are uh, you know trying to use this on this is something that I have that will you know tell you where you're going wrong just for demonstration purposes uh, that's one thing and so now what we're gonna do is we need to call this securely using obviously secure call so what we'll do secure call fire server with the same script and then we're gonna pass through the arguments fire server chat hacked then no and when you execute that go into game boom hacked it sends the remote just like that so that obviously you see not too complicated once you get the hang of it and it is a sure way to bypass um, the anti cheat there definitely can be some extra measures that anti cheat developers can use like I don't have it uh, right now um, just so it was easier to uh, get the I was doing some testing so I disabled the decom anti decompiler but I usually have an anti decompiler on this script so you can't see what's going on in the script you can get the script closure but that's a whole nother video and so that is how to bypass the uh, any anti-cheat that checks the calling environment.